Hey there guys, and in this video I'm going to be showing you on how to install swing arm spools on the Venom Motorsports Evator towards the back right here. Now you're asking me, why am I going to install swing arm spools on this bike? Well, if you ever have to do any maintenance on this bike or anything for that matter, it'll be a good idea to have the swing arm spools. That way you can prop up your bike from the back and work on it. Or if you want to, you know, do any other things, instead of having it on the kickstand, you know, you put it on the rear stand and you'll have, it'll be a lot more sturdier on working and doing anything else on it. So let's get to it. Let me show you uh, the particular swing arm spools that I bought and how to install them on the bike. All right, here we are at the bench. Now here the specific ones that I have ordered. It's made by a company called MZS. Not sponsored by them, just kind of showing you the ones that I particularly bought. By the way, I'll have a link down below for these particular ones, along with some other different types of swing arm spools. Inside the package, you get these. Now, I specifically selected these because they are a little bit on the bigger side. And also, not only that, it's because, you know, in case I would ever drop the bike or whatever, these would stick out enough to actually kind of protect that back end. So here's a little bit of close up of how they look. The logo right there. It's not much to them. And they are made out of solid aluminum, not plastic. So if, they do, if I do crash with these, they will scrape and uh, damage the aluminum, I will say. All right, so this is this, and then it comes out some spacers, and then it comes with the two long bolts. This is how they originally came, with some light plastic wrap on it, uh, and that's it. All right, so let's go over to the bike, and let me show you where we're going to be installing these swing arm spools. All right, we're here over at the back of the bike. Now, originally, I was going to install them over here. Now, when I, there's like a little hole here, so I was like, all right, perfect. I could just put them in there, they'll thread in, but they don't. This is just an indentation hole. There's really no threading inside whatsoever. So then I was like, looking, where else can I install these that would actually fit or, you know, or put it in a spot where I don't have to do too much modification? And guess what? There is a bolt right here. So perfectly, on, and there's one on each side, not only this side. So that's where we're going to install them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my 10 millimeter socket to unscrew it. All right. Now that that's unscrewed, now we're going to go ahead and grab our swing arm spool and install it there. And also, I almost forgot to mention, don't forget to get some thread lock. I would say the blue kind. All right, so here's the blue thread lock that I was talking about. All right, so blue thread lock, make sure you put it at the end part of the screw. All right, so first things first, we are going to get our long bolt, which is right here. We're going to get our swing arm spool. We're going to get our long bolt, and we're going to put it right through. All right, so it looks like that. I'm holding it from the other end. Okay, and then after that, we are going to put a little bit of some thread lock. I'm gonna put my finger at the end of it so it doesn't come out the other way. Since the box came with spacers, there's gonna be two. There's gonna be four altogether, but I'm gonna grab two to put on the one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on like this. So there you go, like that. After that, we are gonna put some thread lock on the threads over here. All right, just like this. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and thread it in there. Make sure that you do this um, carefully. You definitely don't wanna put start putting it in there and cross threading, that'd be bad. The Allen key you're gonna need for that is gonna be a five millimeter Allen key. So if it goes in there with resistance, take out the screw and put it back in because if that's happening, it's because you're cross threading. You wanna be able to put it, uh, have it screwed in very smoothly without any resistance until it kind of you know until you need to put it so I already know I got that in good so next we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab your ratchet set and uh, your ratchet and we are going to uh, tighten down the bolt so here is my ratchet and for me I like to have everything all the right way I'm gonna have the the lettering or the logo uh, towards the bottom but you do how you want to do it and how you want to have it I'm just going to hold it there so it can stay in place. And you want to have it tight enough. You don't want to over tighten it. Okay, it's a little off for me. So I'm going to go ahead and back it out a little bit. And then just turn it so the letter could be a little bit more towards the bottom right there. Again, that was just personal preference uh, for yourself. So I would say about there is good. This bike doesn't really vibrate 
at all. So I'm just going to feel the back, make sure nothing's uh, poking out from there. All right, so now that one is pretty much set and done. Now let's go over to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, we are on the other side now. Here is the bolt that we do need to remove. 10 millimeter socket, just get it on there. All right, remove that. I'm gonna put that in the box over here at the bottom. I should have removed all this plastic, so let me go ahead and remove the plastic off of this and then I'll show you uh, pretty much what I'm doing. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Might as well just do it on camera. All right, there we go, all removed. Let me go ahead, grab our bolt, put it in like so, drop it in, hold it from the other end, get my spacers. So I got my spacers, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in like this. And then lastly, go ahead and get my thread lock and put a little bit of thread lock on the screw. All right, thread lock in place. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my five millimeter Allen key. Hold it up like this, and then pretty much thread it in its spot. All right, after that, get my ratchet on there, and then just tighten it the rest of the way. looking good all right so let me show you how it looks like all right and this is how they look really good as you can see and from the top man if I didn't tell you that they were there you would never even notice that they were there they blend very good with the bike again I'll have a link for a description for you know different types of other swing arm spools including different colored ones in case you wanted to get some a little bit of color to your bike for me i just kind of wanted to go with a black you know blacked out kind of look and on this, on this side you can see a little bit more compared to that side because you do have what would have been a chain guard or a chain you know for a chain but since it's a hub drive it doesn't have a chain not sure why they even put that there All right, guys, now what you've been waiting for, for me to prop it up with the rear stand. So let me go ahead and do that and show you how it looks. All right, so now that you get the stand on there, you pretty much grab your favorite stand, tip it over so it can be pretty much straight up, and then let's kind of get the stand over on it. Make sure you get it on both ends there. And then once you get it on both ends, make sure you're always holding onto the bike because you definitely don't want it to fall. And then you can just go ahead and prop it up. And there you have it. Now you're able to have your bike up and propped up. And it's not, it's pretty sturdy. It's not gonna go anywhere. Give it a little shake for you guys. You can see it's it's on there so it's not going anywhere therefore this allows you to do maintenance on your bike without having to rely on that side stand because sometimes the side stand if you're doing something you know you could tip over the bike pretty easily i mean it doesn't weigh as heavy as a regular bike so you know that's that Alrighty, guys so that pretty much concludes this video on how to install these swing arm spools and get some more close-up shots for you guys if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, smash the dislike button. Let me know down below of what you disliked about the video. But regardless, while you're down there, please hit the subscribe notification bell. That way you guys are up to date with my latest installations and videos. If you guys have any questions, leave them down there in the comment as well. And uh, stay tuned for the next uh, installation video of, when I, of stuff that I'll be showing you and how to install on this Venom Motorsports Evader.
Alrighty guys, take care. Catch you guys in the next one.